I hope you're ready for a magical week too in this workshop with me, Rihanna. And what wonderful pirates you made last week. And I loved seeing your fish. Now, this week, as you can see, it's all about magic. <gasps> Uh-oh. What's on my fingers? Oh no, I can see spiders. Oh, I think I'll have to get them off. Oh, there's more boys and girls. Oh no, I think, I think I might be turning into a witch. Well, hello, boys and girls. It is nice to see you. I think today it's all about magic. <laughs> now, I think the first thing we have to do is learn about my best friend. Does anybody know who that might be? Hmm? You were right, it's my little kitty cat. And my little kitty cat is very, very good. But boys and girls, she's getting a little old. So now I need a new little kitty cat to help me out. But she'll stay too. Isn't that right, little fluffy kins? Hmm? Boys and girls, it's time for our own ad. That's right, I think I need another cat. It can't be any cat at all. It has to have a few magical qualities to be a witch's cat. I wonder what they could be. I think they would have to be good on a broomstick. Mm-hmm. I think they would have to be good at hissing. Can you all hiss? Let's see, that was very good, boys and girls. Well done. Hmm. I think this cat should not be afraid to fly. That's right. I think it has to have a knowledge of magic spells and I wonder what else hmm. wanted a witch's cat must have vigor and spite be an expert at and good in a fight hmm. and have balance and poise <gasps> on a broomstick at night wanted a witch's cat must have hypnotic eyes to tantalize victims and mesmerize spies and be an adept a witch's cat with a sly cunning smile a knowledge of spells and a good deal of guile with a fairly hot temper and plenty of bile wanted a witch's cat who's not afraid to fly for a cat with strong nerves the salary's high wanted a witch's cat 
only the best need So boys and girls, we find out what we needed in a witch's cat and I hope we'll get some good cats looking to be my new apprentice and my new best friend! Now, boys and girls, you can see I've got my lovely <gasps> cat ears on and my cat mask. It's time to learn our witchy cat song. Are you ready? Let's go! Now, everybody. Our witchy cat song today is Everybody Wants to Be a Cat. That's right. And these cats have got some attitude. So I hope you're ready to sing along. So remember, we're going to learn by singing and repeating. So I'll go first and then you'll sing. Okay, let's go. Me first, then you. Everybody wants to be a cat. Everybody wants to be a cat. Because a cat's the only cat who knows where it's at. Because a cat's the only cat who knows where it's at. Everybody's picking up on the feline beat. Everybody's picking up on the feline beat. Cause everything else is obsolete. Cause everything else is obsolete. Beware of a square when he offers to share his milk to sip. If it hasn't been tried, I suggest you provide your own catnip. If it hasn't been tried, I suggest you provide your own catnip. I've heard some corny birds who tried to sing. I've heard some corny Everybody, big big clips. So let's see if we can sing it together. Remember, words will be up there, so keep your eyes on them, but just try and sing along as much as you can, okay? Let's have a bit of fun. Are you ready to be a cat? Everybody wants to be a cat Because a cat's the only cat Who knows where it's at Everybody's 
picking up on the feline beat Cause everything else is obsolete Beware of a square when he offers to share his milk to sip If it hasn't been tried, I suggest you provide your own catnip I've heard some corny birds who try to sing But still a cat's the only cat who knows how to swing A purr between two furry friends may be old hat But everybody wants to be a cat well done, big, big claps! Okay, boys and girls, before we sing with the music, I think I need to look a little bit more like a cat. So, I've got my eyeliner. Now remember, we only paint our faces, use face paint or makeup, if our mommies and daddies or our grannies and grandas, or our aunties and uncles, or whoever is lucky enough to be watching you, says it's okay. So, first thing I need is a twitchy nose. Hmm, let's see. Over, down, down, and oh, I'm gonna have to color it in. Mm -hmm. Starting to feel a little bit more like a cat now, boys and girls. That's right, off it goes. Fix it off. Okay, I've got my nose. That's right, and I need some luscious whiskers. You ready? One, two, oh, I look like a cat now, magical cat, three, and four, ooh, meow, meow, I can't wait to see all your pictures with you looking like Kitty cats too. Everybody wants to be a cat. Everybody wants to be a cat because a cat's the only cat who knows where it's at. Everybody's picking up on the feline beat Cause everything else is obsolete Beware of a square when he offers to share his milk to sip If it hasn't been tried, I suggest you provide your own catnip I've heard some corny birds who tried to sing but still, a cat's the only cat who knows how to swing. A purr between two furry friends may be old hat, but everybody wants to be a cat. Okay, everybody, now we sang our song, Everybody Wants to Be a Cat. And we said our poem wanted a witch's cat. That's right. So it was kind of like an ad, wasn't it? But do you think our witchy friend got any new cats? Hmm, I think she did. Would you like to meet them? Okay, you ready? Boys and girls, here she comes. Small. She would definitely balance on a broomstick. <gasps> Boys and girls, there she is. 
I told you, it's a witch's cat, so what color is she? <gasps> Black. Oh, boys and girls, look at her. Isn't she lovely? Yes. Now, I think she's going to balance on my hand. Oh, <gasps> she's very good. Isn't she? She's just lovely. Now, I think we should call her... Hmm. Kitty? Nah. How about Fluffy? Nah. Ooh, I've got a good one. How about Miss Mousy? <laughs> Do you think she likes to chase all the mice? Mm-hmm, I think that's right. Let's see her go. <gasps> there she goes. Oh, she's away. That's right. Oh, boys and girls, would you like to make one of them? I can't wait to see all your lovely cat puppets. Now, boys and girls, you've made your beautiful kitty puppet. And now it's time to meet my magical family. Mm -hmm. First of all, we have <gasps> William the Wizard. Hi, William. Then we have <gasps> Wendy the Witch. Ooh, I love her long, luscious green locks. Very pretty. And his curly, whirly beard. Mm-hmm. But no magical household is complete without a best friend. And because it is both a wicked witch and a wicked wizard's little kitty, they're not really wicked. This kitty cat is not black and it's not white. It's a mix of both because it's owned by both the witch and the wizard. Mm-hmm. This kitty cat is a lovely, fluffy grey. <gasps> Isn't she so pretty, boys and girls? That's right. And they love to do one thing in particular. They love to make magic potions. But what do you think they need for that? Oh, I think they need a cauldron. Do you think it would have lovely bubbles popping out of it? Mm-hmm. I think so. Oh! cauldron all in our finger puppets and let's see i think they would live in a magical house mm, do you think it would be colorful i think so Magic house with a magic door. Who do you think likes to go inside? 
I think. Wendy the witch does. And she has lollipops instead of flowers. And look, is that gumdrop bubbles? And they all live happily in their magical, colourful house. Now, it's craft time. So, I can't wait to see your magical family with your beautiful, colourful house and your lovely kitty cat. But it can be any colour you want, boys and girls. Okay, boys and girls, do you think we should make some magic bubbles for our magical cauldron? Let's give it a go. It really worked. Let's try again. Oh, just the one. We could do better than that, let's say. Oh, I'm not very good at it. Let's try again. Wow, last time. <laughs> that was one bubbly cauldron. Mm-hmm. Could we have a bubbly house? I think so. Let's give it a go. Just the one. Let's go. Okay, boys and girls. It's time to look in my wizardy and witchy cauldron and see what gruesome things they like to keep in there. I can see a few things poking out already. And the first one's got a big, big smile. And it's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight legs. Let's see if we can get them out. Come on, little spider. Incy wincy spider. Oh, he's not incy wincy, boys and girls. He is humongous. Oh, he's got a big smile. Sammy boys and girls. But it's okay because Sammy's a very friendly spider. Isn't that right? Mwah! We love Sammy. Mm -hmm. I think Sammy, you might get bored up on my shoulder, so we're going to sit you down, okay? Right. Bye, Sammy. And what's this, boys and girls? It doesn't feel too nice. Kind of cold and scaly. Let's see. Uh, uh oh boys and girls it's very big it's very long oh and it likes to move and i can hear a sound oh no boys and girls still coming it's a it's a it's a oh, snake oh, silly snake are you nice Silly me. Let's give Silly Snake a lovely pet. Oh, shh, Silly Snake. Shh. That's it. Let's let Silly Snake sit down, will we, boys and girls? Yeah. Ooh. Okay. Now, let's see what other things we've got in here. We've got some. Ooh. I think it's some. Ooh. Yucky witches. Hair? Oh gosh, boys and girls. I don't think I want to hold that for too long. Oh, oh. And we have some <gasps> thumbs. Yuck. Oh. And we have <gasps> some eyelashes. Hmm, maybe our witches like to get dressed up. And we have, uh-oh, it's another animal, boys and girls. It's got wings. What is it? It's a, it's a bat. It's a very tiny bat. Let's give it a little bit. Hello, little bat. This must be Betty the bat. Oh, okay. Bye, Betty. Bye. And last thing in this wizardy and witchy cauldron is a 
Woo! Google it, yeah, boy. Boys and girls, could you tell me what things you would find in your wizard or your witch's cauldron? What could they be? Okay, boys and girls, it's magic time. Will we learn the magic words first? Abracadabra, abracazam. Make that crayon go kabam. Right, are we ready to try it? Abracadabra, abracazam. Make that crayon go kabam. <gasps> now, what you need is one crayon a little bit of sellotape and a little bit of help, okay? So you want to sellotape the crayon to the back of your thumb, mm-hmm. So you're gonna put your thumb down and roll your fingers up and turn your hand around so it looks like you're holding the crayon. Then, well, after you do your magic words, you're gonna cover it up like so and put your thumb above the crayon and turn the rest of your hand out and show both hands. That's magic, boys and girls. I would like to see your magic tricks. Well, boys and girls, I hope you've had so much fun today, all on our wizards, witches, cats, and magic tricks. That's right. Can you remember what we did? We met William the wizard. We met Wendy the witch. They were looking for a new cat, isn't that right? So they put up an advertisement for a lovely new kitty cat. But don't worry, they still kept their old little kitty cat too. That's right. She, she was just retired because she was getting a little bit too old to balance on that broomstick. And oh, you sang your cat song. Everybody wants to be a cat <gasps> you painted your face like a cat and you blew bubbles from your bubbly potion mm -hmm. and you made your own magic potion and we found out what was in your magic cauldron isn't that right our wizards and our witches cauldrons it's on rotten things in there, didn't they, boys and girls? They had a silly ooh, snake. They had ooh, chopped off thumbs. Mm. They don't smell too good. They had Betty Bats. Oh, there she comes, boys and girls. There's Betty Bat. She's very small. And lots of other things. Now, I can't wait to see all your wonderful things. But the thing I want to see the most is your magic trick. So let's see if you can fool all your family and friends with this. And remember, because we can't see everybody, we can always make a video of it. Isn't that right? And send it to everybody. Very good. So I think now we deserve a big, big clap all around. That's it, boys and girls, and I can't wait to see you next week. <laughs>